Chris Duffin at Elite Performance Center here. I'm sitting with bench monster Ryan Canelli. So a lot of you uh, may not know he's taking a little uh, vacation from the sport, but uh, he's back at it now and uh, lifting again. And I, I'm sure that a lot of people have questions about, you know, kind of what's up with your training, uh, life and goals and just Tell us a little bit about what's going on with Ryan these days. Absolutely. You know, I've, been, I've actually, you know, since my little hiatus, I came back uh, last uh, May, got back in the gym and started climbing that mountain again and uh, quickly realized that my uh, 1075 bench press record had been taken and uh, by a couple pounds. And uh, that lit a fire under my ass to go out and uh, reclaim my title because that's why I go to the gym. I go there to be number one, to be the best in the world. And uh, so it's really uh, kind of fueled me to step it up, kick it up a notch, and, uh, and get back in the swing of things of bench pressing and, uh, and go for it. And as the cards have fallen, I've actually, uh, it's been a, nothing but positive uh, uh, training experiences. I've actually rekindled my relationship with House of Pain and Inzer Advanced Designs. Excellent. And uh, now that I got those bench press shirts working again, it's just a matter of time before I'm number one again. Excellent, that's good to hear. We, uh, you know, you've been uh, an icon in the benching world for a long time, and uh, you know, clear your, I've seen Ryan the, the last couple of days here, and uh, you know he's definitely uh, put size in and uh, working on getting his strength back up yeah. there. And uh, you know he's got those arms that look—they're like the size of my quads. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I put on a little bit of weight. Uh, I'm 340 pounds right now, and uh, I'm real comfortable there. Seven meals a day—it's—it's. Um, it's, uh, I feel real comfortable at that body weight, and, and my bench shirts are programmed to fit at that body weight. And so I'm, I'm real excited. I have a meet actually in two weeks or three weeks. Um, that I plan on doing. It's nothing that's going to, like I said, ring bells or whistles. You know, I'm not going to go out there and set a world record, but I want to feel that fire again on the platform. I yeah. really miss it. And uh, I think it's a good, a good opportunity for me to go out there and, and, and get under the weight and, uh, and, and, and feel that, that fire in that environment again. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. We got to feed, uh, speaking of putting on weight, um, we got to enjoy a couple good foodie Portland uh, uh, meals so far. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> introduce them. We don't have the quite same uh, same level of cuisine, I think, in Central Washington. So no, uh, and actually, the burger and fries yesterday. And I don't know if we want to plug the restaurant name, but I'll go on quote by saying that it was the most elegant burger and fries I've ever had in my whole life, and it was delicious. I mean, the marriage of flavors and and some of the foods that you guys have, have taken me to certain restaurants thus far. I mean, have been top notch that I did not know existed in Portland <laughs> until today. Thank you to my tour guides. <laughs> Uh, Mike Lupacek and Mr. Duffin here. We, 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 we do enjoy our food. I see uh, Much to my diet coach's disdain. Yeah. So uh, that's why I'm considered disgustingly fat in right. his opinion. So. <laughs> yeah, I know spring chicken myself. I mean, I'm sucking it in right now trying to hide it. So <laughs> So uh, where, where are you training at these days? Uh, actually, I live in Kennewick, Washington, as many of you may or may not know. Uh, there's uh, two Gold's gyms there that I have a membership to, but I... Uh, I needed a hardcore environment. I needed a place where they had the amount of weight that I used. They had the competition fours of inches. And Brab Fitness uh, in Kennewick, it just happens to be that private training facility that I need and the atmosphere and the fire that I need to take me where I need to go. And now that I'm in there, there's no excuses. I mean, now it's just a matter of time before I go out there and make it happen. Excellent. Yeah. It's, it's really important to have that right environment. So for all our viewers out there, you know, there's, there's three things I preach all the time that you've got to have. We had this discussion last night. Mm -hmm. You've got to have the right equipment, you've got to have the right methods, and you've got to have the right environment. If you really want to be a champion, you've got to, you've got to find that. That's um, true. That's very true. So, you know, that was the whole, you know, you know I don't basically like the, the impetus behind e EPC, where, you, where you're at now, right now. Yeah, and this is, a, this, is a, you know, this is a hardcore training environment. I mean, you guys, it's a private training facility here, and it's, it's very spacious. You have everything that you need to produce a champion here. And, and, and that's what I look for in places. I mean, I can't go to the Gold's Gym where I live where people got on these turtleneck sweaters and, and, and polo shirts and cologne. And it, it's, just a, it's just a glorified sports bar. <laughs> that's not the environment that I'm looking for. You know? and, I, and I need that. I need that fire. I need that intensity, that heavy metal music, because that's what makes me a champion. I mean, I just need it. And that's, that's where I'm at now, and I can do it. So. Yeah, I totally get that. Yeah. I totally get that. Well, it's uh, really good about uh, hearing the, the updates, kind of what, uh, what you've got visions for the future, and uh, really excited to uh, see you chase those, uh, those uh, geared bench numbers. And, Absolutely. Uh, like to see you take that record back. Yeah, I'm looking forward to taking it back. Um, you know, I'm not going to give any you know, projected numbers. It's just going to be one step at a time, one record at a time, and uh, I'm not going to stop. You know? I'm going to keep going, and uh, I'm going to be number one, and I'm going to set that uh, bench press out there to where... Uh, some guy with a soft locked locked up bench can't do it. So 
we'll just uh, give me time, man. You know. All right. So uh, the reason uh, Reed's and Ryan's down here, you know, uh, since he since he got back into lifting, uh, he's been dealing with a few issues, and he's, uh, you know, we've messaged back and forth on those. Um, as as many of my viewers may know, you know, there's a lot of the top guys that you come to me and seek advice for certain things, and uh, so I invited Ryan to come down here and uh, spend a little bit of time, and we went through um, some of the the DMS material that I'm uh, that I'm putting together on a on a private. Uh, uh, website or a, a specific website built for hosting my content, which has really been my focus the last few months and trying to put that together. Um, so we worked through some of that today and uh, we also talked a little bit about um, our future plans together. So next summer, June, in Chicago, we are having the Super Total Summit. This is going to be your strength sports, you know, <laughs> symposium, if you will, but mm -hmm. we want to have the best of the best in the trenches coaches and athletes teaching people. It's going to be a four-day piece. Four days, but um, people committed at this point. Um, I'll be coaching. Ryan's going to be handling bench. Ed Cohn's going to be handling squat and deadlift. Amit Sapir's going to be handling diet and hypertrophy training. I believe we've got Sarah Robles, who's an Olympic lifter, handling Olympic. Mm. And of course, my friend um, Nick Horton, the Iron Samurai, uh, also doing uh, the the Olympic lifting. So I mean, you can't ask for a better group of people. This is going to be a pretty amazing event, and uh, I know I'm pumped and jazzed about it. So yeah, I'm excited to be a part of it. I, I was honored when you gave me that phone call and made the offer to me. A uh, little little nervous, of course, about speaking in front of people, but I think between now and then, I can choreograph it and structure it and go out there and handle it. I, I believe in you. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about um, kind of your experiences at Elite Performance today, some of the coaching that we went through? I worked with, uh, with uh, your girlfriend Ashley as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, no, uh, my girlfriend Ashley, her squat form, she has um, been having some issues, of uh, technical issues. And, and today, within 20 minutes uh, of you handling her, uh, giving her different commands and different um, uh, technique advice, I mean, within 20 minutes, it was corrected. And phenomenal to see, I mean, with my own eyes. I mean, I saw it firsthand. And then, of course, uh, with my lower uh, back protrusion, protrusions that I have, there were some specific exercises that you showed me today that alleviated the pain within seconds. So, I mean, just a couple of things um, that, that, was, that we did today. And then on top of the fact that we were able to use the Tendo unit today on the bench press and, and test my, uh, my speed and, and power output. So that was kind of fun to do. I have never worked with one yeah. before, and it was a learning experience. And, yeah. yeah. So uh, for those that don't know, Ryan follows uh, the West Side methodology. He spent some time with uh, Louis getting some coaching and stuff. And he's had uh, one of the things that he, he, he says has helped him get uh, his bench to where it is is the, right. the, the training methodology that he uses. So there's a lot of speed-based training in that. So we played around uh, with the gym aware and uh, also the push uh, system today, mm -hmm. capture and speed, kind of showing him some of the data. He was Definitely a good time. We also did some benching with the uh, duffalo bar as well. That is so. true. <laughs> yeah, the, the, what do we call it, the duffalo bar? The duffalo performance squat bar, which yeah. may now be the duffalo or the bench monster It you know, could bar. be. Who knows? No, I've never benched with one, and it was a, it's a specialty bar, and it's something that I like to incorporate in my training. I'm always looking for that advantage, you know, and if it's something that I can incorporate and use that's going to put one pound on my bench press, it's something I want in my training arsenal. Yeah. And definitely, it's a, it's a bar, and I thank you very much for letting me uh, take one of those home, and it will get a lot of use, and you'll see videos of me using it, I guarantee you. Excellent. So one of the things that, uh, one of the key things that Ryan wanted to, to get some help with was the disc protrusion. So mm -hmm. he's got protrusions on his disc. You know, some of the advice he's been given is basically not train for a year. Not and, train for a year and just take these pain pills and it'll go away. Yep. And yeah, uh, that's not me. So so he wants to know how can I manage this? Can how can I how can I take ownership of this and deal with that? So we showed him some methodology on how to do that today because my belief is if you take time off you're just gonna get weaker. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to actually go to train, now you're weaker and you still haven't actually learned exactly. what it is that you need to fix and how to move in a way that's not gonna cause those issues. And uh, I really don't want to see an athlete at his level, you know, a year from now getting into his car or, you know, picking right. up a 10 pound plate off the floor, throw out his back and, uh, you know, be out for quite some time. So I said, Brian, come on, come down. Let's spend some time together. Let's work through this. And uh, so we went through um, a lot of the DMS principles, some mm -hmm. of the core pieces of that, and then some very specific stuff that applies to, to, uh, to his case. 
and uh, I think uh, I think we've got a good game plan. We do, underway. and it's a lot of things that people don't understand. Also, is that I'm a bench presser, and people don't don't think I squat and deadlift because I don't do it in a contest. But there's there, those are compound lifts that I do. I don't do them extremely heavy and, and, and try to set records at them, but I do train them. And so having these protrusions in my lower spine, the doctor says no squatting or deadlifting for a year, and that's 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 just something I can't live by. I mean, I want to be able to train, but how to how to train properly without you know blowing these discs obviously because once they do that it requires surgery and that's even more of a setback so i'm kind of ri riding on some bald tires is, is, is what the doctor said in my in my lower back area so so and i don't want to go off road is the term he used yeah so we, we gave him some tools and some strategies on how to how to how to take ownership and mm -hmm. manage that uh, himself and uh, alleviate pain without mm -hmm. uh, without relying on pain medicine right. and uh, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what that's going to do for him because uh, you know, you people out there that see thousand plus pound bench pressers, not many of them, uh, if you think they're getting there without uh, without squatting and without developing their lower body, it, it's a whole body movement it for is. these specialists, you know, it, without a doubt. It is. It's um, a total body movement, no doubt. Yeah. All right. Um, I'd like to go over also the fact that uh, we used the shoulder book today a little bit. And um, it was an apparatus that I've seen on Facebook that you've uh, let other individuals use. And it's something that I definitely wanted to try. And that's what brought me here, too. And um, to be honest with you, the first time I used it, I, um, I hit myself in the head. Um, it, was, it was a little ugly. I'm glad we didn't videotape that. But after you slowed me down and, and taught me the correct form technique and how to use it, I'm getting it down now. And hopefully, maybe tomorrow morning, we can have a video of that. All right. It's looking, it's looking a little bit better. You agree? I agree. Okay. So just, to, just as full disclosure here, Ryan was so excited about using it. He came in the night before I coached him I did. and tried to tried to learn it on his own. Didn't uh, work. Didn't work. <laughs> so we had you we had you dialed in within a few yeah. moments of actually using the, the the progression and the video that comes with it. You haven't seen that. I'll send it no, to I'm you. No, I'm not. Uh, but there's a uh, there's a coaching technique and progression that comes with the shoulder rock. Um, and it's really it's not just the tool. The tool is very specific in in our case, but. Uh, the teaching method is also very unique and gets people up to speed uh, really fast. And uh, yeah, we saw that. He went yeah. from, I don't, today I hit him up. I'm like, you ready to go try? He's like, I tried that last night. I did. And, uh, and I'm like, no, come over. Let's, let's do it. And within five minutes. I kind of uh, had it down. I had the swing was, down. He had the swing down. Yeah. And let me tell you, this guy's tight. I worked with uh, Eric Spoto. He's the, basically his counterpart. He's the uh, raw bencher, right? Um, and, uh, and, uh, Ryan has, he's just even tighter in those shoulders right yeah. now. And uh, so it took, took a fair amount of weight to get him to kind of open, open up and be did. able to, to do it. But uh, he was feeling, you tell, you tell me, how were you feeling after doing that? Uh, to be honest with you, well, if you, if you look at the, uh, the, the progression of time, we actually did the shoulder work for a couple minutes. And then we did some, uh, that other, the... Uh, Duff and upright, the Durs. The Durs, Duff and upright rows. And then we decided to test the Tindo unit. And I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not no young buck by any means, but I usually warm up before I would go in and test my speed with 135, 225, or 315 on the bench. And to do those two specific exercises, which are ones I've never done prior to benching, and then go in and test my speed and explosive power on that bench, I would have to say that my shoulders felt thoroughly warmed up by just those two little exercises that we did prior to testing with the Tindo unit, and I was impressed because there was no popping, no cracking in my shoulders. And I, when I go into bench, whether it be speed bench day or, or max effort day, I do a ton of side delt raises, front delt raises, bent over rows, uh, rotator cuff stuff. I mean, it, it's a whole 30 minute uh, right. conglomerate of, of warm ups. I mean, I think I spent roughly, what, 10 minutes all together just doing the, the durs and the, and the shoulder work. And it was, it was uh, in, in my opinion, it was a half ass warm up, but it was 110% successful because my uh, my three the, 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 for me to get on the bench press and do those lifts without proper warm up were, were astounding that um, I, I didn't nothing was popping or cracking and I was I was impressed. So, yeah, I, I remember you getting up off the bench. You were like, "Oh my God, my shoulders didn't pop." That, feels yeah, yeah. Good. that move fast, didn't it? I'm like, "Yes, it did. I got the numbers right here. You want to see them?" And then uh, then we jumped to 315 and it just blew up. It was as fast as, as 225, which if you've never seen Ryan bench 225. Uh, it's pretty fast. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, what was it on the on the, on the Attendo unit? Was it point uh, point seven five yeah. meters per second, yeah. which is uh, straight up speed work by yeah. you know the methodology that w you use. W yes. So, um, so yeah, really really good stuff. So, yeah. all right, um, Andre, you got any questions for us uh, before we uh, close out this interview? No. All right. Well, appreciate your time uh, watching this. Thank and you, uh, watch up uh, for more. Check out uh, Ryan Canelli's channel. I'll tag it in this video Thank as you. well. And uh, keep an eye out for, uh, for what he's got in the future for us. Number one. So, 
And uh, also check out the uh, Super Total Summit that's uh, going to be coming up June, Chicago, 2016. Oh, that felt good. If you enjoy the content and want to support the production of further content and also look like a badass, I suggest you go to uh, KabukiWarrior.com and check out these nice Whiskey and Deadlift t-shirts. Additionally, we've got a number of products and new products that we're releasing that will help you perform better and move better. From coaching products, to products like the Shoulder Rock. So please check out KabukiWarrior.com.